Hi guys, wanted to read you this book. Um, it's called National Geographic Kids Sharks. Look at that big great white shark on there. Um, it's a level two reader, which is pretty cool. It means um, it's one of those you could challenge yourself with if you've been reading for a little while. Um, and it's got just a bunch of really cool facts. A lot of things that I didn't even know about sharks. So this is again, Sharks, produced by National Geographic Kids and it's written by Anne Schreiber. <clears throat> And here's the table of contents, which I think is always cool to point out. So if you saw something you really wanted to learn, you could go immediately to the page it's on to learn more about it. <clears throat> Champ. What is quick? What is quiet? What has five rows of teeth? What glides through the water? Champ. It's a shark. Sharks live in all of Earth's oceans, and they have been here for a very long time. Sharks were here before the dinosaurs. Did you know that? This is the oceanic white tip shark. A shark is a fish, but a shark is not like other fish. Sharks do not have bones. They have soft cartilage instead. Cartilage helps sharks twist and turn and cartilage helps sharks move and bend. And here's the word bite at the top that will help you with the word cartilage. Cartilage is light, strong, and rubbery, like the tip of your nose or your ear. <clears throat> shark skin feels bumpy and rough. It's hard like sandpaper, and it protects sharks and helps them swim faster. See the sandpaper? If a shark loses a tooth, a new one moves forward to take its place. Shark tail fins are larger on top, and this helps them move through the water better. Shark pups. Did you know shark babies are called pups? Some pups grow inside their mothers, and other pups hatch from eggs. Lemon shark pups grow inside their mothers, and the lemon shark mother goes to a shallow water to give birth, and the pups stay near the shallow water until they're full grown. These fish right here on the lemon sharks back are called remoras. They hang around sharks and eat their leftovers. There's the lemon shark and its baby. Miss Kelsey and Mr. Colin actually saw a lemon shark when we were snorkeling in Florida. It swam right under us and it was pretty cool because it was kind of scary, but still exciting. <clears throat> Swell shark pups hatch from eggs. The eggs are called often a mermaid's purse. It's the nickname that people have given them. A pup comes out of its egg case. There's the little, the little nose. The shark pup. And there's the picture of the mermaid purse. Swell shark mothers lay up to five egg cases at a time, and in nine months, the shark pups will be born. Sorry for the noise outside, guys. We need to keep our windows open on a day like today. Pups grow up. When shark pups grow up, they are awesome predators. They have many ways to sense their prey. Did you know a shark can smell blood from miles away? It can smell one, one drop of blood in 25 million drops of ocean. And here's the word bites again, predator. You know what a predator is? That's right, animals that eat other animals. And prey, they're the animals that get eaten by the animals that eat other animals. <clears throat> here, right here, we have a nurse shark. It's pretty cool looking. There's a lot of those in Florida too. <clears throat> Sharks can see better than humans can. Even in deep, dark water, a shark can see its prey. Sharks take a test bite out of prey before eating. Their taste buds tell them if the prey is fat enough to eat. There's the great white shark eating some other fish. I've always wondered about that because they talk a lot about how they find, you know, tires and some other crazy stuff in a shark belly. So I would imagine that they don't always test their food. What big teeth you have. Pause for one second. 